I'm on a roof. Oh. I'm on a roof. <laughs> no show, you died to helicopter blades on your first... <laughs> Welcome everybody. Hello. We're playing We're playing Prey. Fallout. <laughs> I was trying I was thinking about should I say Skyrim? Fallout New Morrowind. <laughs> yeah, Jordan's never played Prey, but he really likes Dishonored, so I told him to play Prey. Yeah. Pretty uh Arcane Studios is a pretty poggers champ studio, yo. <laughs> now we're hip with the zoomer memes now. Hello, we, fellow kids. Did we ever actually upload anything that we recorded when we tried to play Dishonored? I don't remember. I don't think so. No, I I don't think we did because either. Because I think we realized that we had like three episodes of silence. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of getting really quiet when I'm trying to be quiet. Yeah. And then we had like two minutes of like really good content and we just like throwing shit around. Mm -hmm. And the moment that we always quote of the dude being like, I, I have you. And then I shoot his head off. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing this on Steam Deck, but Jordan has a keyboard and mouse. Yeah. So I've heard about this game. And from what I understand, I haven't heard a lot about the game, but my knee-jerk reaction is it's Gary's Mob Prop Hunt. Not that I've ever played it, but I've watched it a lot, but with a story. I guess you could say that. You're familiar with Prop Hunt, right? Yep. Yeah. The, the mimics specifically as an enemy, yes. There's more than just mimics. There is more that. to it than that? Yeah. I just know everyone, like... It has referenced those things. I don't want to play a survival. <laughs> I don't want to play a survival game. Fuck that. Pick your Morgan. The default male Morgan looks a lot like Markiplier. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It looks like an art, like an actor that I can't think of right now. Uh. Hells is Damn it, it's not gonna come to me. Are they voice acted? No, uh, no. Technically, but no. I don't know why they have a voice or why they have you choose then, that's interesting. You wake up in your apartment in the year twenty thirty two. We're only a decade away from that year. Yeah, and we don't have spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> so you better get on that ship, Red. Mm. It's all on me. Sorry, bruv. Them's the breaks. That's the way the cookie crumbles? That's the way the crumbles of the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan had a stroke. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> He's never been the same since. Good morning, Morgan. This is Today oh. is Monday, March 15th, 2032. What if that was the end? <laughs> we look down and don't see tits, it's unrealistic. I thought I was on a ship. I ain't saying nothing. Hey, Morgan. Yeah. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You said the helicopter to pick you up. It's just You're a few gross tits. looking. <laughs> don't forget to wear your That's soon. your brother. See you soon. Really? Yeah. Oh. Listen, Bruh, uh, he's like, looks like my gross uncle. <laughs> We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. I know it says live, but he sure don't look it. <laughs> I think the actor that played him is the same guy that played, uh... Uh... Oh, what's his name? I'm just gonna Google the actor, because now I can't remember the character's name that I'm trying to think of. I don't know why that's happening. That menu keeps coming up sometimes when I'm jumping. What menu? Here, I'll see if I can get it to happen again. That, like, radial menu. Yeah, this. I think. Oh, wait, that's not. That's why. Because I think. Oh, is it a scroll wheel thing? Yeah, it was because it wasn't clicked in anymore. Benedict Wong, that's who I'm thinking of. Don't Benedict my Wong. <laughs> he plays Wong in Doctor Strange. 
Oh, yeah. I'm just going to make sure that it's actually him before I boldly make that claim. Where is this section on, like, the fucking... Maybe it's not him. There's no section for video games here. Pray. What year did this game come out? 2017. Sure, IMDB. I don't much care for your website, but... Yes, it is him. Hooray, I remembered correctly. Alright, I wasn't paying attention at all. What are you doing? Molesting a chair? <laughs> I'm to throw something through the window. You're angry with the window? I'm... gonna speculate here... that this is not actually what's behind this. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. Alright. Let's see. What do we got in here? Get dressed. The fact that you're being vague about certain things makes me realize that I'm probably not supposed to know, but it's weird because I've seen... From what I've seen, nothing ever, like, explicitly said it. I guess it's just, like, the things I saw. I was like, hey, this kind of looks like space. Also, like, the screen showing stars and shit mm. kind of made me think of it as a space game. It's not not a space game. Hell yeah, flush that toilet, bro. <laughs> That's where all the pee goes. <laughs> But if it goes down there, how are we going to drink it? No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here drinking Fresca, talking about drinking piss. <laughs> Fresca, please sponsor us. Wow, it didn't even move. There, now it can go back in the cabinet after it's been <laughs> wetted. Why didn't people get mad at Prey for not having proper toilet paper physics when everybody got mad at Halo for not being able to shoot the fruit in the cart? God, it drives me nuts. Why can't you shoot the fruit in the cart? That's pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that when people make those kinds of like, oh, Halo is ruined now because you can't shoot, the, the fruit doesn't react to you shooting it. It's like, are you playing it to shoot at the fruit? Yes. I don't understand. And then when Call of Duty has something like that, everybody's like, Oh, fuck, I'm gonna buy six copies. Because that's what I do. Have a stroke. <laughs> I think the word one you're looking for is seizure. Yeah, seizure, that's it. Oh, God, you can't even see your own reflection? This game doesn't even have ray tracing? What a shitty Ob game. Obviously, that just means my character is dead. What a That's interesting. Family. You know what's really interesting about that? You know what that looks a fuck ton like? Huh. The character portraits in Dishonored when it shows a, ca a portrait of one of the characters, like a target. Oh, really? It's the exact art style. It's probably just the same art team. Bruh, that just went through the glass. How do I crouch? See? I can, my mouse does have buttons on it if you wanted to map controls to them. Ah, uh, that's fine for the moment. Jordan's in his element, he gets to play with a mouse. Don't worry. If, if you're worried that I'm finally going to be better at games, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Warning, Neuromod should only be administered by certified trans star technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove Neuromod from vacuum seal. Oh, step one. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Step two. Press rubberized eye cup against 
the bony orbit of eye socket. Uh, keep the eye open, depress, orange release, flavor text. You, you get these things called neuromods, and they're part of how you, like, level up in your skill tree. You forgot about step six. Fuck. Engage in cock and ball torture. <laughs> Also, future me and people in the audience, we are we should not be desynced. It took me a long time to start reading that. <laughs> Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But first we what if it was Monday, March 14th? Ah oh, shit! <laughs> But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear your you for life in orbit. Uh, exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you see soon. Thomas Tucker. It's you. It's me. I changed my name to Tucker and went and lived in the video smoke? game. Okay. Interesting. Hey, I hey. sent a package for it with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod the right way, not in your ass, <laughs> as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. I don't want it to be poopy. <laughs> Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. I don't Alex. want it to be poopy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I, I'd like if it would just said, hey, Alex. <laughs> Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are gonna be fucking in the gravitational pull at the same time. <laughs> she said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Apparently <laughs> there's a subreddit for that. Okay, actually she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. But there you go, that's mom. <laughs> anyway, excited about your ideas up there. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make Excuse sure you're Excuse me. Up. Read properly. I'll prob call you in the morning. Oh. <laughs> See you very soon. Unbelievable. <laughs> Can't believe you. Excuse me. See you very soon, Alex. Mar Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> See you very soon, me. <laughs> God, imagine how lonely that would be if you sent emails to yourself. Oh, and it God. was like, see you soon, man. And then you turn and look in the mirror. <laughs> it's like the why are you like this fucking meme where he's just pointing at himself. Excerpt from the preface to Hands on Electronics by Antonat Soko. By working through a series of pra uh, practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas and Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk and the ability to totally steal shit from other people. And kill an elephant. Did he really? Yeah, he shocked an elephant to death. Oh. To show people how dangerous alternating current was. I mean, because he was being all propaganda about how direct current's way better because he invented it. So he made an alternating current device and hooked it up to an elephant and it killed it. <laughs> what I'm, a lunatic. I'm sure if he did either version, <laughs> it would still be dangerous. Did you install the Neuromod? Uh, I don't think so. I, have, I think you have to find it somewhere. Or maybe you get a tutorial for it. I don't know. I picked up some items. <laughs> Fucking, I hate luckies. I like how you just ye yeet certain things. <laughs> Yoded. My favorite telescope. No. Uh, I was gonna say that's rib for her pleasure. <laughs> Just like Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Okay, well, I put my suit on. Yeah, you also have to install a Neuromod, but I don't know where you have it. Maybe you get it... I might be misremembering, but maybe you get it when you, uh... meet up with Alex. Hello, fishy.
Let me in. Morning, miss you. Shut up. Why wasn't there subtitles? Stop it. <laughs> There it is. No, it was there. And for some reason it went back to main dialogue. Even though we changed it. There's the... Ow, my ears. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. <laughs> Wait a minute, our building's not rated for that. <laughs> I was thinking of a motorcycle. <laughs> Oh. On the roof. <laughs> and just fucking yeet off the building <laughs> in a motorcycle. Water pressure issues have been identified and are being resolved. We apologize for any inconvenience that Alex shitting in the toilets and <laughs> clogging them has caused. <laughs> wow. I wonder what it'd be like to just fucking <laughs> see someone sprint to the elevator and do that and just slide. What if the door closed, like, right behind them? It's like, wow, that guy was James fucking Bond. I feel like I'm gonna go to the roof, and it's not gonna feel like I'm on a roof. I'm on a roof! Oh. I'm on a roof! <laughs> no show, you died to helicopter blades on your first... <laughs> <laughs> Load previous save? I guess. I don't think you saved yet, so I don't think it matters. I guess it auto saved. Oh, yeah, zero hours, zero minutes. <laughs> hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your That's suit. great. I'm so glad I could do that. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy <laughs> stupid shit like that. Really great you decided but it's to great. Board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. We're gonna shoot things up like heroin. <laughs> <coughs> We're gonna experiment with a bunch of different kinds of drugs. Mom is super stoked about it. To reference purple eyes, we're gonna shoot mescaline into our balls. <laughs> Morning, miss you. I can't believe we're almost ten minutes into this episode and all you've done is killed yourself with a helicopter. <laughs> Can you blame me? No. Uh, uh, uh. What's he doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm on the edge of my seat. Shit, man, he changed Crouch to Mouse 5. He's living dangerously. I kind of wish it was a uh a hold, but you might be able to change that. <laughs> That's not worth it. Uh, Morgan jumps off the roof. <laughs> I'm trying to find out how to jump off the roof. <laughs> I don't want to work in space. F for boarding. Imagine just getting picked up in a helicopter like this. That'd be awesome. Right? See Can all the traffic down below? Make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. It's a fucking a helicopter hop. limo. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Excuse me, um, we use Celsius here? Yeah. Hell Fuck. yeah, give me that fucking synth wave, boy! <laughs> I'm getting bricked up! This kind of music with this kind of, like, cityscape is always totally my jam. Just kind of like... 
nice view on the bay there. It's sometimes cyberpunk, sometimes it's just like, uh, I don't know what the term is when it's just like, mo uh, like sci fi modern. Mm. I like how you keep actively looking away from the credits. Well, I'm enjoying the cityscape. Yeah, I know. I just find it funny that when Bethesda's logo was up, you looked the other way. And then when Arcane's logo goes up, you looked the other way. <laughs> I just find it I'm funny. I'm also. I also kind of get the hunch that this is a game that'll, like, cheekily give you noticeable hints that yep. things are amiss. Like the word prey on the roof of the building. <laughs> oh, did it actually? Does it actually? Oh, wow. I think, honestly, if I was to land on this building, I'd be less concerned about the word prey and more concerned about the golden black motif they've got going on. <laughs> hey, those are our channel colors you're insulting. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Miss You, can you stop sucking on the exhaust pipe, please? Veggie the little helicopter. <laughs> Hello, Doctor Hugh. Ah, <laughs> a demon. Welcome, Morgan. You, you have a nine a.m. appointment I'm a in the testing Four facility. Five, Please class confirm. Operator. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought it had things to say. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry. Are you a briefcase? Kind of look like a briefcase. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. You must have turned. Oh, you do. Oh. You have your flashlight on. How did I turn it on? I don't know. You got your flashlight icon in the bottom left. Your battery's draining. He sure is. <laughs> Don't worry, someday we'll play the game. <laughs> v. V. V for flashlight. <laughs> I was gonna say exactly that. So something that I find cursed. Okay, that's weird. I was trying to lean last time, but instead it was just like keeping me in place. Oh yeah, it does that. Hmm. That's weird. It's because I was too close to the wall. Mm. <gasps> 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 Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Doctor You. I know I am. Shut up, bitch. You're amazing, Doctor You. Shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> Imagine a helicopter. That flew someone Morgan. from one skyscraper Finally. to the one right next to it, just so someone could go to the ground floor, go back to the first <laughs> skyscraper, and go one floor down from where they were before. Like, imagine the big dick, big money energy that has to yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> you look gross. <laughs> Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Me, on the other hand. Still red. I know you already I know said to his him mom about us fucking, but can you not? <laughs> Breaking you should see how many blood. chins I've got. <laughs> Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to Whatever walk comes you natural, the okay, I'm going to piss some shit in the ass. corner. <laughs> That's about as natural we'll as it gets. Just do week. whatever comes natural. I Start promise. sucking his own Mr. dick. <laughs> Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Oh, you don't want me to be myself, bro. Doctor I'm you. a female. Oh, right. <laughs> you could have a dick. I mean, that's true. Maybe this is cyberpunk and you can be a chick with a dick. I thought that was a thing you couldn't do. No, you can. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Shut up! I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. 
I wish I could show you what I've been working on. The fuck Master 6000! Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, <laughs> you're going to do fantastic. Hey, Dr. Bellamy. All good? I'm Josh. Great. Let's begin. Josh? For this first from test, the... Remove the boxes the... from the red circle as quickly as you fuck can. Fuck's sakes. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. God damn it! Press the red button. Rob makes that ready. joke in... Ma he used to make that joke in Mass Effect. Absolutely fine. Fuck. Uh, let's move on to room I can't B. think of it. It's like it's like uh, Blair Witch. The Blair Witch Project. That's it. Oh yeah, <laughs> the found footage movie. Yeah, standing, staring at the wall. <coughs> okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. <laughs> I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Can I just point out that they're testing my ability to hide behind this <laughs> chair like a fucking four-year-old? <laughs> These tests will all make more sense as you go through the game. She's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? I wonder if I could have hid behind fine. this. <laughs> Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. How much am I getting paid for this job? Alright. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just The most forward. natural, intuitive way possible. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> Alex walks in. Doctor, I forgot to tell you, my sister's I'm an sorry, idiot. Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina put down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. <laughs> One last room. Let's step into D. Yeah, I sure believe that. Fuck you. <laughs> I've planned to be as useless as possible. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. <laughs> have a seat at the table for me, please. <laughs> please, sir. Could I have some more? Like this? <laughs> Damn it. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen. Now stand up. You. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. What is this? Follow start three. Start the screen when you're ready. <clears throat> Can I make myself come across like an insane old person? Uh. You're playing new. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like you got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Ooh, that's heavy stuff. <laughs> you ass! A runaway train is bearing on five, bearing down on five who are tied to the track. You, you can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. <laughs> Do nothing. So that this actually is a pretty interesting question, the like trolley. Uh, para, uh, uh, condition. Yeah. Because here's the thing: if you move the track, you save five people. 
Yep. However, if you did nothing, if you didn't even ever arrive here, those five people were going to die, no matter what you did. Yep. But you could divert the tracks, but you are killing the person on that second track. Do you do it? Do I know any of the five or the one? Would it change your answer? Probably. Okay. Then you know all of them. Hmm. And you, I don't get, you don't get to know which one's which. Hmm. You just know you know all of them. Hmm. I'd probably switch the tracks. Same. Mathematically speaking, it's like, oh. Even is like sure knowing people the needs of the, the many issue. outweigh the needs of yeah. the few. It, Spock said it himself. <laughs> That's what I'd say as I switch the track. Oh my god, <laughs> that is so. Some... I'd hold up the Vulcan salute. That's some incel shit right there. <laughs> Good, <laughs> Spock. No, the runaway train. A runaway what? What? A runaway train is bearing down five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. I'm just gonna push him. <laughs> Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Yes! <laughs> you know what? I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> Well done. Well done. <laughs> really I didn't expect him to be like, yup, I'd do I the, the same thing. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. <laughs> it looks like you're the fat guy now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, his coffee was empty. That's just that's just what happens when you don't get your morning right. cup of joe. Yeah. You so just slowly emaciate and die. We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. I'm sure it is. Man, I really gotta pinch out a fat one. <laughs> Imagine, like, a pretty lady waking up and that's the first thing she says. Things are persistent from how I left them before. They're not. Okay. Get these towels out of my face! <coughs> towels potentially are in a different spot, but I wasn't super paying attention to it last time. <laughs> the train is barely down towards you. There's no one on the track. <laughs> Do you push the fat man? <laughs> I don't know why, but him saying, like, I'd probably do the same thing. I just, I'm still struggling to deal with it. <laughs> I think if they glow blue, they go into your inventory. <laughs> I'm done with this. <coughs> I apologize to everybody that I keep coughing. I'm trying not to, but especially when I laugh, it comes back. <laughs> He's just got the vid. Yep. The vidya game. The vidya game. 
Wow, what pretty shoes. <laughs> Fucking, wait a minute. This is last season. <laughs> Get these clothes <laughs> out of my face. Oh, right, I'm naked. Well, today looks like a day to go back to bed. <laughs> ah. We better go back to bed. From January. I'm glad you noticed that. I was gonna point it out, but I want things to be as organic as possible. <sighs> Game controller is that on the coffee table? Kind of looks like the Nvidia Shield controller. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what if this time there was an extra person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or they'd, like, were all face swapped. <laughs> There's just, like, a skeleton <laughs> sitting in the front row. <laughs> I don't remember if there was two sets of towels. Soap. Hell yeah. Give me that soap. Yes, I always get dressed and then <laughs> have a shower. <laughs> Alright, let's actually go do shit. Would have been really funny if you did that in the first time when you see your brother, he's like, Why are you all wet? <laughs> Did the helicopter? Was it like flooded? No, it's just rain. But it's sunny out. I'll go like this. <sighs> Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. How did I... <laughs> I want to take a closer look at her face, but it's too dark. You're coming with me. <laughs> you turn on your flashlight. Yeah, it's just she's face down. Face down, ass up. Roll over. <laughs> red Rover, Red Rover. Is it like. Like super emaciates the fuck out of their face. I wanna do something one second. Can you put her in the shower? <laughs> Maybe. Break the toilet. This is what you get for drinking all my piss. <laughs> Oh, interesting. It makes my vision blurry. That's kind oh, of Oh, your stamina? Yeah. <laughs> you really want me to put her in the shower? <laughs> if you want to. We're almost at the end of the episode. 
So my whole episode was just me fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Rock on! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Bathing corpses. <laughs> what a wild party. Wait, turn the light off. How could you do that to your television? Interesting. Where elevator? I want to see if you figure this out before we end the episode. Sure. It was the fish. You figured it out! <laughs> Break out from your apartment. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Well, maybe we'll take another phone call from January... ...in February! <laughs> Am I charging up a swing? Is that what I'm doing? I think so. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see you guys next time! No. <laughs>